Welcome back. We have seen about simple pipeline job, actually a declarative one. Also in our previous session, we have talked about scripted pipeline versus declarative pipeline, but we have not looked into the actual differences and we didn't answer which one to use. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. And if you ask me which one to use, it depends is not what I will say. I will actually suggest you to use the declarative pipelines. So in this session, let's see why we should use declarative pipelines. And also we will absolutely not use simple pipelines, but I'll throw in some useful things within. So actually you get a full benefit of each of these video sessions. So first thing, if you ask declarative pipelines are actually easier than the scripted pipelines. You have to code in Groovy for writing the scripted pipelines. So, but in declarative pipeline, you are actually given the whole structure. You just need to fill in and you need to put in the steps in there. Okay. So, but both declarative as well as scripted pipelines can be used as pipelines as a code. But if you see the difference, declarative and scripted pipelines are actually a little different. But declarative pipeline is actually more recent feature of Jenkins pipeline, which I was talking in the earlier session. It provides a rich set of features over the scripted pipeline and it's supposed to make things easier for people to write our Jenkins pipeline. Okay. And this page Jenkins IO doc has good information about the pipelines and both declarative as well as scripted pipeline. If you want you can go through this page have a glance go through it once and try to understand but in this session i will go through some of the features of declarative pipeline which you will not see in a scripted pipeline so the first one which we just talked is it is obviously easier and uh, so it's quite obvious that most people will be using and you can get a lot of online resources if you are ever struck through with the declarative pipelines okay so more easier more people uses it and you get more support and more help from other people's as well. Okay. So the next point is in case of declarative pipeline, we have an option of starting restart from stage. Okay. Let us come here and let us go to the job, which we created in our earlier session. Okay. Okay. So in this page, let us go to one of this output. So let's go to this console output. And if you see here, there is an option of restart from stage. Okay. And this option is actually not available in a scripted pipeline. So click on here and actually you can execute any stage. So if I want to start from the test stage, you can just do a run and it is going to start only the test stage and the deploy stage. And you, you see here the build one is not showing anything, not showing any time here. So you see only the test stage and the deploy stage are only running. Okay. So that is one good feature of the declarative pipeline. So let us look into one scripted pipeline and see that we don't see this option of restart from stage. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. Let's click on new item and let us create our first scripted pipeline. Scripted pipeline first. Okay, so we select the same pipeline and click on OK. And this one also, let me just keep up to five builds. And we are also supposed to code in this same place. So one more thing, while coding your pipelines, it seems to be better to code in one of the text editors, IDEs. So Notepad is one of the good ones, which you can use. You can, of course, use your other IDEs like PyCharm, or if you're working on Java related projects, you can use um, Eclipse and all. But if you directly want to type in, you can use this Notepad one instead of using this editor within your Jenkins console. And this one uh, seems to be good because you can see the curly braces getting highlighted whenever you click on it and you know, because once you start to build your pipelines, it's going to grow bigger and bigger and you are going to lose focus on the curly braces and all. So you can use this Notepad++. It's a free tool. You can install it. So let us do one thing. Let us actually just use this simple scripted pipeline and we will paste it into this one. But before that, let us add some code in here. So we'll add stage one and here we'll add stage two and here we'll add stage three, two, three. Okay. Also, we'll add some environment variables, echo and env dot node name. This is going to print the node on which node it is running. Now I'm running on the master node. That is the 
Jenkins controller node. So it's going to print that and stage two. And in the stage two, we can print the build number. And let me just put the echo here. And in the stage three, let us put the current build, current result. Okay. So let us do some formatting here. You can just uh, remove this one. Then even we can remove this extra line here. And let us copy this whole thing and come here and we can paste it okay also you have an option of generating your pipeline script so if i select this one it's going to populate in here so let me just select this one and you see everything gets populated in here. whatever with all the information whatever jenkins provide it gives an example of what all things you can how you can write this scripted pipeline and all okay so hello world this is for the declarative one and github and maven it also shows for the declarative one this is some of the samples which if you want you can try it out Okay, so let's do one thing. Let us actually delete this one and let us paste our scripted pipeline code. Okay, so let us actually save this one and let us do a build now. And our job is done. Let's go to the console output and uh, it's built in is the node name stage two build number is one stage three and you see the current build current result success okay so this is about the scripted pipeline and as i was saying you don't see the start from stage option here for the scripted pipeline there is a replay button here which actually is also there for the declarative pipeline here you can change this code for your pipeline and you can rerun it okay that option is available in the declarative one as well let us go back to our job and let us run this once more time okay okay so yep so you see here it's the same way of display how you see in the declarative pipeline but you don't get that restart from stage so thank you for watching i hope it has helped you in some way please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe in order to support me thanks for that see you in the next video